Hello, Walking Dead fans. This is Solid Dave Snake, continuing my reviews on the Walking Dead Mini Mates Series 6. And in this review, we're going to take a look at the two pack of Constable Rick Grimes and Douglas Monroe. And just a quick warning to anybody that doesn't want to hear any spoilers, I'll probably have spoilers for both the comic series and the TV series, as we have just gotten to this point in the storyline in the TV series. Uh, of course, these Walking Dead mini-mates are based off of the comic book series, but if you watch the show, you'll know that they just made it to the Alexandria safe zone, and we get to see Constable Rick Grimes at the end of that episode. And a big change from the comic book to TV series. Douglas Monroe from the comic book t has transformed into Diana Monroe in the TV series. So we technically got a big change there. However, Alexandria is a lot like it is in the comic book series and the TV show. And this is a very fitting two-pack because Douglas Monroe is the person in charge of Alexandria that gives Rick Grimes his new job inside of Alexandria as a constable. So I really like this two-pack and we'll take a look at the constable Rick Grimes first and get to see how his new officer uniform looks. And of course he has his hair cut and back to a clean shaven look. Has the black jacket with the white fur up top and the little bronze, bronze uh, badge and nameplate over here which you can't make out anything on it. And this mini mate actually comes with a separate tie piece. If I were to pop off his head, you could also pull that tie piece off too. So I thought that was really neat that that's a separate piece. And of course, we have the biggest difference between Rick Grimes from the comic book and show. His bandaged hand, missing hand. Which this has been on a lot of Rick mini mates now. And should be the last one to have that. After this point, he just had this stump. And he comes with one really neat accessory, this little snub-nosed revolver. Which, a lot of people that watch the show probably think Rick uses a revolver in the comic books. But really, he's just always using regular pistols. Uh, this is the only point in the comic book where he really uses a revolver. And it's this little stub-nosed one, because the survivors are not allowed to have firearms inside the Alexandria community. But Rick does sneak a gun in there and if you see this little holster down by his leg is supposed to show where he had the holster underneath his pant leg in the comic book and you actually can fit that little revolver down in there so that is really cool I really like this Rick Grimes action figure and very fitting to be doing a review right now since we just get him in this outfit in the show. So then we will take a look at Douglas Monroe here. And you can actually get two looks out of him. Right now I have him with his jacket on. And they did a pretty good job with the face. Of course he had that white goatee in the comic books and bald head. So we don't have a hair piece up top. Even white eyebrows which he had in the comic book, so that's fitting. A blue dress-up shirt underneath and some khaki dress pants down below, and he comes with a regular handgun. But I will show you his alternate look. You can have him dressed without the jacket as well by popping off his arms. And taking this jacket off, which they're easier to take if you pull off the head, but I don't want to do that in this video. And then the arms pop right on, which matches under shirt. And you have to change the 
actual hands out of here too which you just pull them out and pop the little pegs in I'll just change that one but that's a nice secondary look for Douglas Monroe so I really like this two pack uh, of course this is our Rick Grimes in this series and it's nice to get Douglas Monroe in this series as well so alright guys that'll wrap up this review and stay tuned because we will have Deputy Michonne and Winter Zombie up next <laughs>